Hi, I'm LPGA professional golfer Brooke Henderson. I'm here to share my favorite health and wellness routines that help keep my golf game in top shape, exclusively for MasterCard card holders. In this episode, we'll focus on short game warm up. So, to start my short game warm up, I like to start with wedges, um, and I like to start with 20 yards, and from there, I do 10 yard increments all the way up to 100 yards. So, normally, my caddy will go out and place head covers starting at 20 all the way up to 100. And I like to start with wedges just to get a good feel for the face. Um, and it's a good way to warm up your swing before you get into the larger, larger shots. And so for me here, we have a pin at 30 and a pin at 40. And I'm gonna be using my 60 degree to start. So a high lift, lofted wedge. And right now I'm just like, you know, taking a few practice swings and just getting a good feel for, for the day. bad just it's nice to start out with wedges just because it is a short swing and so there's not a lot of things that can go wrong but it's really important to have a strong wedge game I feel even if you're miss hitting your larger shots if as long as your wedges are good you can get yourself out of trouble you know you can chip it out of the woods and then make a great par save just by getting your wedge up there and close So with the 60, it's definitely very high lofted. Good way to start. Then I move on to my 53 degree. Same thing. I normally be working starting at 20, going to 100. Here I'm just doing 30 yarders and 40 yarders. So there, that one's a little bit, landed a little bit further than I wanted. So I just take that into account, maybe make my swing a little bit shorter, just get a little bit looser and get rid of the tension. So it's definitely a great way to start your warm up and definitely you need to spend a lot of time on your wedges because it is such an important role and like I said it can really help you out when you start hitting it sideways. Now for me, I would normally use my 53 degree wedge pretty much all the time when I'm hitting wedge shots um, from zero yards all the way up to around 90 yards. And the 60 is only really used when I'm really in trouble. I have to go over a bunker, over a small tree, or I have no green to work with. So 60 is sort of like my ultimate trouble saver and 53 is what I use on a regular basis. Another important thing to add to your short game warm-up routine is leg putting. I feel speed is the number one thing when it comes to putting, especially for amateurs and even in my game. I think it's really important to pace out my putts just to give my brain another thing to register to get the correct speed. I feel like you're never too far off on the line or break, but speed can really be a contributing factor whether you're two putting or three putting. So for me, when I step up to my putt, I like to pace it out. So I'm gonna count this. So that time, 11 paces, so that's 33 feet. So it just gives my mind just a little, something extra to focus on when I'm standing over this putt. So speed was really good on that one. Just need to bring it in on the line a little bit.
Again, really good speed, really easy to putt, which is really all you want from this distance. The percentages of making it are very low. That one's a little firm, but I think it's gonna go in. Nice. Um, and then another thing for putting, for especially for amateurs and even professionals, I feel like for a confidence booster, um, it's really nice just to work on a couple short putts. So just place a tee, like two feet, three feet away. Just grab a couple balls, and then you're just trying to hit that tee. So it just gives you a little bit of confidence when you hit the tee, because then when you go out on the course and you have a hole that you're aiming to, all of a sudden it looks a lot bigger. So two drills, leg putting, and then another short one, just to build confidence. Um, and then when you get that on the course, you can make it no problem. My parting priceless advice for short game warm up is spend more time around the greens and less on the range and hope you score better. Thank you so much for watching my health and wellness series, and I hope these tips help you out on the golf course.